So, has anyone noticed that Paw Patrol is kind of weird? Now, as far as kids programming goes, or young kids programming goes, Paw Patrol is far from the worst. I'd much sooner watch Paw Patrol than Dora or Diego. It, I mean, it's pups. It's puppers. Doggos. Who, who doesn't love that? But as an adult watching the show, you kind of notice things. So what is Paw Patrol? Well, whenever there's a problem around Adventure Bay, Ryder and his team of pups will come and save the day. Marshall, Rubble, Chase, Rocky, Zuma, and Sky are all part of a t team known as Paw Patrol. Um, what their job is, is to help out around Adventure Bay and help get whatever needs to be done, done. And each dog has their own shtick. There's actually a couple of dogs that weren't mentioned in that roll call there, um, but they're just kind of recurring. But anyways, the main dogs, you have Chase, he is the, a police dog, he takes care of all policing. You have Marshall, who is the fire department. Rubble is a construction worker, he, you know, works on construction around the town. Rocky is waste management, Zuma is coast guard, and Sky, well... I don't know. She's in charge of air stuff. So the thing that's kind of made made me want to make this video is that these jobs... So, um, Paw Patrol is not a government agency. These jobs are not, you know, done by any kind of government oversight. These are all in the private sector. We never see Ryder get paid, but it would just make sense that he's getting paid unless he's doing this all just for the altruism of it all, but policing is one dog's job. No other police officers. And, you know, it's all in the private sector. And as for the government of Adventure Bay, it will, so the mayor of Adventure Bay is Mayor Goodway, and she is portrayed as being incompetent. What are we gonna do now? the Paw Patrol. Now, why didn't I think of that? And not only is she incompetent, but she spends taxpayer money. Okay, it's never as explicitly said taxpayer money, but she uses... It, it's in the middle of town. It's going to be taxpayer money. She uses taxpayer money to make a golden statue of her pet chicken, Chicoletta. This is dystopian. And not only is she just incompetent, but the mayor of the neighboring Foggy Bottom, Mayor Humdinger, is a straight-up villain. At first, he was kind of just antagonistic, just kind of like a rival. But as the show progresses, he becomes more of a straight-up villain. And he is always trying to steal stuff, ruin things, you know, just cause mischief. Hell, at one point, he steals royal kittens, whether they are supposed to be royalty themselves or if they're supposed to be the pets of royalty, I don't know. But even though he attempts to kidnap them, he faces no consequences from that and is still mayor. So, so far we have, you know, the whole private sector thing, you know, the libertarian just dream. Um, and we have incompetent leadership. That's kind of bad in and of itself, but... What might be worse is that um, Paw Patrol is, and how do I say this? Well, let's just say that in Paw Patrol, all animals are created equal. Some are just more equal than others. And when I say that, what I mean is the dogs are of human level intelligence, yet subservient to man. You know, that's kind of got some um, yikes undertones. But also, they are the only animal that are capable of this intelligence, that are capable of speech. What about those? Yes! Geese! Oh, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! The geese are coming! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! <laughs> the dogs are kind of the animal... Oh, what's the way of saying this? I don't want to say master race. But, yeah, the, the dogs are at top of animal hierarchy. And, um, 
it's not that, you know, these pups in particular are some kind of genetic experiment that grants them pup or that gives them human like intelligence, but they just seem to be that way. There have been a few times where we see one pup or another join the team, and even prior to meeting Ryder and his crew, they are already at human level intelligence and are capable of speech. Someone's in trouble, and we have to help. Hey, what's a Paw Patrol? Each pup has their own special job that they're extra good at. Look out! Whoa! Sweet save, pup! Thanks! I always wanted to do a real rescue. Sometimes I practice rescuing penguins, but they never say thank you or anything except honk. <laughs> so dogs just naturally are, you know, higher up than cats, chickens, ducks, anything. So the world of Paw Patrol is dystopian. We have basic resources in the private sector, including policing, incompetent leadership, and just the hierarchy for the dogs. But despite their near human intelligence or equal intelligence, they are still subservient to humans. And if Ryder does get paid, again, we I don't know, it's never really shown, he gets paid in money, the dogs get paid in biscuits. That really seems fair. But yeah, I don't really have too much of a point of this video besides just laying out all that stuff. Um, I could make this more long-winded and all that. In fact, I kind of wanted to make this like a, oh, Paw Patrol is Randian, or, you know, like Ayn Rand. But, eh, I don't know. Some of it just didn't work because it is kind of altruistic, you know, the whole Paw Patrol in general, which is definitely not Randian. Um... But, yeah, I just, I don't know, that seemed like a lot of work. And before anybody says, oh, you just don't want to read a 1,200-page book with smallish font or two, yes, that's correct, I um, do not want to do that. And actually, if it was one of those things that Atlas Shrugged or The Fountainhead were, my problem with, like, 1,200 pages in small words is they're in mass-market paperback. Those bindings are going to snap. Give it to me in a few parts. I'll give it a try. Maybe. I'm a slow reader. But, yeah. No. I, I, I'm not doing that. The only rant I've read is the Anthem. Um, but, yeah. This has just kind of been a bit, a bit rambly. Um, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And take care, everyone. If you like this one, like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I guess I just have one more thing to add. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, be there on the double. Ever there's a problem. Round Adventure Bay, Ryder and Steam Pups, come and save the day. Marshall, Bubble, Chase.